Hi, my name is Rebecca. It is such an honor to be with you here today. Welcome to our Pause Devotional. I love that we are reading the Book of Romans in the days leading up to Easter. I believe it's preparing our hearts as we approach the celebration of Resurrection Sunday. Whether it's your first time reading this book or if you're getting reacquainted with a story, I think we all stand to learn something new about God and His relentless love towards us. Romans 11, 33-34 reads, Oh, how great are God's riches and wisdom and knowledge! How impossible it is for us to understand His decisions and His ways! For who can know the Lord's thoughts? Who knows enough to give Him advice? Now, one of the things of the many that I love about God is how spontaneous and unpredictable He can be. I can never quite wrap my mind around Him. Hard as I may try, I can't pin Him down. There are moments where I think I kind of have Him figured out, and then no. I realize I'm not even close to understanding the full scope and magnitude of who He is. It is one of the things that I love most about Him. And yet, if I'm to be completely honest, it's also one of the things that frustrates me. It frustrates me because my humanity is constantly grasping to understand. It wants to understand why did COVID happen and what God is up to in the midst of all this chaos. I ask questions and oftentimes what I get are divine reminders. Today that reminder is, it is impossible to understand God's decisions and His ways. I know, I, like most people, want answers, not reminders. Then I realized it's a good thing we don't understand. Why? Because it interrupts our routine and gets a hold of our attention. It invites us to slow down and ask God for help, understanding, guidance, and peace. It humbles us. It also sets us up to once more marvel and be in awe of God. Remember I mentioned that the Book of Romans is preparing our hearts as we approach Easter? Over the years, you may have heard or read the accounts in the Gospels. Perhaps you've become familiar with the stories, but that doesn't mean you know everything there is to know. No matter how many times you've heard this remarkable story, there is still more you can extract. As the passage in Romans tells us, God has great riches and wisdom and knowledge. There's still more to be discovered and there always will be. Would you pray with me today? First, acknowledge that He alone is all-knowing. Thank Him for interrupting you and placing you in a position where you need to ask for His help and guidance. Then pray that He takes you to new heights and new depths to reveal more about His sacrifice and how His resurrection continues to impact the reality of your life today. May you always be in awe of how vast and great He is. Hey, thank you for watching this. To find all the other devotionals, head to our website and don't forget to follow all of our social media platforms. God bless you, church.